Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of F1 2014 career mode for round 7 The Canadian Grand Prix, a home race for myself Fresh off of a very strong effort in Monocopter going from the back to a podium finish Absolutely insane, that was now 6 in the standings while Hamilton had 106 at the top of the board We still are, well, quite str simply struggling for pace But I'm hopeful today in my home Grand Prix could be maybe a sign of of some positive outcomes. We're ready to go qualifying here in Circuit de Gilles. Villeneuve here now is immediately going to get the brakes down to the rear of the car as we get through these first few corners. Now, I'd really like a strong qualifying effort just to kind of, you know, make up for our Monaco issues in qualifying, but as well as, you know, a home Grand Prix weekend for myself, I would like to be able to have a decent starting position in front of the home crowd and preferably get my first win of the season uh, in front of the home crowd as well. It's not been an easy season here in F1 2014. It is a very, very tricky game to get the handle of. I've said it every episode, but hopefully today, like I said, you know, we can maybe uh, have a little bit of a positive outcome here. Now, look, go Going into the next bit of the season, which will take us into that halfway point. Down towards the final chicane, we've lost some time over the last little bit here, especially through the hairpin. But honestly, it, we're a ways off, but not as bad as some races. So that's the positive. We might just be outside the top 10. P12, 1.5 seconds off. Yeah, still. Work to do, obviously. Uh, but I'm feeling, honestly, decently confident going into this one. I did not mean to do that. But uh, we'll dive into the Grand Prix and see what we can do. We're ready to roll here from Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. Starting P12, 18 laps here from Montreal. Overcast skies, but no chance of rain. We're ready to kick off round number seven. It's going to be lights out, and we are officially underway here in Montreal now. And it's not a good start for myself, of course. It's kind of in the usual. Actually, a, a little bit better than usual, though. I'm going to try and go to the outside, but Massa in the Williams. He's going to cover it off nearly into the back of the uh, Brazilian. Three wide here on the inside. I'm just going to try and get past both of the Force Indias. We're still three wide here now on the run towards the chicane. Oh, my goodness. Massa is going to stomp on the brakes, and so is Bontas. Both the Williams just absolutely choking here and that is going to open the door for both of the force indias to get through now so we're only in p10 let's go up the inside right here of bontan so into the chicane thank you very much now he's already pulled out of that mess and now we run in p9 at the end of that second chicane so we can focus in hamilton lost the lead on the start and actually he's down to third whoever got the lead is kind of driven away right off the bat here and now uh, as we continue to try and settle in quickly now i'm confident we can put together a decent effort today but you know i've said that uh a few times now that's obvious and and it hasn't quite worked out at times so this hairpin does not feel good i feel like that's surprisingly going to be one of my weak spots here today in canada end of lap one we have a run on perez i think we've got enough space pace in this car to just go for a lunge here up the inside actually not gonna happen perez covers it off well making sure that i can't quite do it right now surprisingly i don't think i've said it this season but the car feels oddly understeery on the entrance and the center of these corners however on the exit it feels very typical for how it's felt all season long very oversteery i'm going for it up the inside huge lunge but the job is not quite done trying to leave the room right there i don't know if i squeezed him or not it was hard to tell i'm not trying to squeeze him but we get through into p8 we're putting some pressure now on Hulkenberg, gonna get right up to the back gearbox or rear wing of him, and then we'll see what we can do on the DRS straight. Trying to get hard on that gas pedal there and get, of course, a grip uh, to hook up. And we've got a nice slipstream on him here. The German is gonna be pretty defenseless, I think. He's got DRS himself. He leaves the left side open. I don't want to be up the inside here into the chicane, uh, but we'll get clear even before that chicane as we close in on the cars in front. There's an issue. There's an issue. That's our teammate, I think. That is Hamilton who's got an issue. He is way off pace. It looks like he's back going, but we've just gained a bunch of positions. Can we actually pass our teammate like for the first time this season? I don't know if we've passed Lewis one time in the first six complete rounds of this career mode, but something clearly happened. There's a bunch of space between the front runners, so they must have, you know, been side by side into the chicane came together but this just gave us you know a, a very real opportunity to actually make something out of this race here now I felt like you know our pace was okay uh, but now we've got like I said a, a very real opportunity now as everything's kind of closed up Hamilton though showcasing immediately that there's still a strong pace in his Mercedes Hamilton going for a move on Alonso easy pass as well he passes Fernando oh my god holy crap he was going 
so slow into there. And, I mean, it's an absolute mess back there. We're able to go through and take fourth, but I was not ready for that. Hamilton, though, absolutely flying right now. It's pretty evident that I don't think I have the pace to win, at least right now. Um, but if we can just try to stay within Lewis, I mean, look at that. I mean, a 115.5. That's nearly a full second quicker than myself. I mean, he is just absolutely flying right now. He is on another level. Even when I'm feeling good in this car, Hamilton is just able to find, you know, a little bit more than what I'm capable of finding right now. Right now, it's the Red Bull 1-2. Danny Rick out in front over Sebastian Vettel, who's down in that second position. And then, of course, Mercedes to follow third and fourth with Hamilton and myself. But yeah, I mean, the pace is okay. Uh, it's just not good enough right now. I don't know uh, if we're going to have enough for a podium, actually. I mean, I see Hamilton's closing in on Vettel for sure. But the question is, can I close in on Sebastian Vettel? Can we close in on Daniel Ricciardo? Does Hamilton have the pace for Ricciardo? I would say absolutely, based off of, of course, him setting the fastest lap. But for me, it's really... See if we can get Vettel. Uh, if we can get Ricardo as well, great. But I think it's really going to be more of Hamilton winning this Grand Prix. Uh, especially without mistakes here, at least. And then us trying to maybe follow through uh, and push hard here for a second place finish. We will be boxing at the end of the next lap. We might go uh, do... I think we're not going to go for the overcut today. We've kind of been abusing it. Let's stick to the strategy. All right, we're going to be boxing this lap right here. I think, honestly, the kind of the rule we can maybe roll with is tracks where we have a huge disadvantage with like the handling and whatnot we can try the overcut because it's because it's pretty op it almost feels like you're using like a, a a cheat code even so today our pace is okay it's not great but it's good enough to hang uh in the top five so let's just stick to the original strategy a decent stop there uh and we come up behind sebastian vettel the question is can we run down vettel hamilton was practically right to the back of Seb uh, when he came into the pit. So the Mercedes absolutely flying. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, by the end of this pit stop cycle if Hamilton gets to the lead already and then starts to drive away. But nonetheless, our pit stop's complete. I think we gained, we definitely gained time on Seb because he had to wait for myself, first of all, to come in to my pit box before he could leave his. So we gained time there. But I mean, it looks like we might have even gained a little bit more just in general here. 2.4 seconds between himself and I. The gap to Hamilton, who was behind Vettel when I came into the pits, was larger than that. It was over three. So we definitely gained some time. Hamilton exiting the pits right now. Let's see where he's going to end up right now. Is, uh, he's going to be behind Seb. No, he's going to be ahead of Seb. He is ahead of the Red Bull. I am not quite really gaining anything right now on Vettel, but I'm hopeful uh, as the next few laps kind of go on here, we can start to get to a comfort zone. Not like that. Goodness gracious. Not what I want to do. As it stands right now, P4, Ricardo actually, I think it's gain time. I keep screwing up that chicane. Uh, but Alonso is closing in on me. But yeah, Ricardo's got a little bit of a gap to Hamilton. Uh, so he stays P1 for now. Vettel 2.8 seconds up the road. And that gap is just slowly going up as I continue to just try and wheel this thing around. Uh, but not the pace I was expecting to have and I was looking for on the yellow stripe tires. So we'll just continue to, uh, you know, push hard and, and just see what we can do and try to get that gap down. Look at that. Four tenths quicker. And actually, we have cut the gap down now to 2.3 seconds so we have found something there over the course of that lap the question is you know can we keep that up for the rest of these seven final laps or eight laps whatever it is uh to run down seven maybe then some i mean hamilton i think is gonna get to ricardo he's definitely closing that gap the question is could we then get to ricardo for a second but first we need to focus on of course trying to pass sebastian vettel now as he is continuing to lose time 1.9 seconds a gap and this chicane up here, I mean, can be a part of the track that either makes or breaks your whole lap. We get through there okay. I think we've definitely gained some more time on the Red Bull. He crosses the line. Let's see the gap. 1.4 seconds. We are absolutely flying now all of a sudden. Is it enough for what Lewis Hamilton's able to put on the board? Absolutely not. He has now run down Daniel Ricciardo. And I hear that. Vettel is in fuel conservation mode, so that also kind of makes sense as to why he's losing so much time over the last couple of laps we are close now we're gonna have drs for sure on vettel if we can just stay within the range that we're on and, and look at that hamilton to the point lewis hamilton to the lead of the canadian grand prix here now he's gonna break my heart and it's gonna be a mercedes winning which is great but it's gonna be the wrong one in canada that's for sure uh, as we focus in on trying to get seb here for position before this race comes to an end 
I'm not going to get Seb right here, I don't think. Uh, but that run towards turn one is exactly where I'm looking for. I'm going to slow down a bit early because I just didn't trust what the AI will do in some of those uh, final chicane moments. But look at the run we got now. So Seb's going to be a sitting dunk. I'm going to go to the right side, say thank you very much. Now he's going to back out of it before we even get down into turn one. Says, you know what? Go and have the position. You deserve it in your home Grand Prix for working so hard. And what can we do now? Can we run down Daniel Ricciardo or not? I'm thinking honestly probably not, but I'm certainly going to give it everything I got to try and get to him anyways. I just got told Vettel on full revs and it's starting to look like it for sure so i think it's about time for us to do the same we have closed in on danny rick but it's only 5.3 seconds still so it's going to be uh needing to take a lot more to actually get to him now so i got plus two lamps vettel is closing with the drs he's not going to be in a position to really make a move right here he's not even going to show them no he's just going to let me have it so we roll through the chicane, keeping the gap nice. Now, I think that's that's a lap car just up ahead. I'm going to go back to standard for now because, yeah, we're only plus one on feel. So we got to be a little bit smart here on when we deploy that rich feel mixture. I'm slipping and sliding. It is a Caterham just out in front of us there. The gap to Ricardo now 5.0 seconds. But, yeah, just too little, too late to go run him down. I was really hoping Erickson was going to, you know, park the bus in front of Vettel. That's not going to be the case now. 4.9 seconds to Ricardo as we approach uh, two laps to go and we've been continuing to find just a little bit more pace. Vettel is a lot closer than I would like him to be. I'm going to try and break some slipstream. Will that really be enough? I've got ERS actually because of Ericsson. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll take that. Put the feel immediately back into standard on the run towards this final chicane as I go a little bit deep hit the curb right there but we still have DRS to keep us ahead of Vettel one lap to go here from Montreal what can we do uh to that gap to Ricardo obviously we're not going to get to him 4.3 seconds the gap Vettel is still in territory to pounce on me if I make a slip up Alonso's been running both of us down honestly he's faster than both Vettel and myself in these closing laps fortunately it's the last lap so he's not going to be able to get us unless something happens I think Vettel might have just potentially made a mistake right there nine tenths of a second the gap and uh ricardo now below four but vettel is able to get through there so much better than i'm able to now but lewis hamilton i mean started up front went down to third immediately on the start of the grand prix as i go for a bit of a slide and he was able to uh you know get through the early race trouble rally back take the lead of this grand prix in the closing laps and well drive away unfortunately for the competition uh but great for mercedes and our team but we come through uh, down this final DRS straight. Uh, Vettel not quite close enough, especially with me being on fuel mixture. He's not co quite going to be able to make a move. But Lewis Hamilton already down the front straight away. He is going to come through to win the Canadian Grand Prix. Another win. Dominance from Hamilton. It's going to be a podium for us. P3 continuing to show signs of improvement, signs of hope. But third place just is not enough for me we need to do better we need to find a way to start winning races we've still got work to do and here we see the finishing order there i mean hamilton put five seconds between himself and ricardo uh by the end of that race there vettel uh alonso just behind myself there in fourth and fifth place as you see the rest of the finishing order on your screen what a what a race it was not exactly what I wanted because, like I said, I want to win races. Uh, but we are still six in the standings. Uh, 13 behind Sebastian Vettel there as Hamilton now increases his point gap to 26 over Fernando Alonso. That'll wrap it up for me. I will see you guys in the next one for round eight on the season. Have a great day.